she can play the bass clarinet! Ah! I'm so excited for you! That is so cool that that scientist emailed you back. That's that's amazing. Ironically, I just found out what the horseshoe crab was, I think, yesterday. And it really does look like one of the fossils that you'd find. <laughs> when my friends described it to me, they're like, it's it's like an armadillo. But it's flat and it has tentacle things. <laughs> it's really hard to visualize that. Uh, I'll be sure to pray for your friend in Japan. Oh my goodness. We watched a whole bunch of videos of that in in social studies and Spanish and everything and it's just horrific what happened and now they're dealing with a nuclear crisis that is just worst case scenario I can't believe that they have to go through all of that on Friday um, we did the closing night of wait our play we did the closing night of our play I can't say the play name um, and it was fun it was the best one that we've had and we then helped strike the set, and that was fun. And yesterday, I spotted, or spotlight, I spotlit for Chicago, another play. I spotlit for another play <laughs> that we are doing over here. You know what? No, I can say Chicago. Yeah, I'm spotlighting, I spotlighted for Chicago which was another play that we were doing around here. I spot Lift for Chicago, that was fun. A lot of the singers are really, really strong singers, so you'd be sitting in the back and you're like, whoa, I can hear it vibrating in my eardrums. <laughs> it was really fun. Exactly, okay, so, so, so this is exactly one way, you know, you gotta like, okay, so you're thinking, if I could show, so thank Hi, Rachel. It's Monday. I just got back from the acting studio, and I also had an orthodontist appointment, and I changed my braces because we have uniforms. Monty. Well, we have uniforms, and I just now realized that we can actually wear green shirts on Thursday, but I got green braces. Take that. <laughs> I'm glad that you can't smell breath over the radio. Wait a second. Did I just say radio? No, I meant YouTube. Because I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Well, my family is just coming in, and today has been fun. Actually, we're applying to that school that I that I shadowed at earlier, and I mean, it's not that we're definitely going there, but we figure that the atmosphere is really nice, and that it doesn't hurt to try. You know, it doesn't hurt to just send an application and not be obligated to go there anyway. So. I'm just finishing up my video today for you. Um, good luck with the bass clarinet, by the way. That was very nice. And surprise symphony. I see what you did there. Here's my mother. Hi, Rachel. My dad's in the background and my brother's head, if you can see that. But right now I'm in the kitchen trying to keep it safe there. Um, anything else that I could say about today? Oh, 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 your braces adjusted. I did get my braces adjusted. I just told her that it's green because I thought that we would have to be wearing our uniforms. I don't want to get pinched. Pinched, being pinched, it's not fun. It's not till Thursday. I know, it's not till Thursday. But I won't get my braces adjusted before Thursday, hopefully. Unless I break them. Oh, they're green! Green and blue. Yep. It's actually sort of funny because... Earlier, they've always been like red and yellow, and it's just a complete change. Anyway, um, today, 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 searching through my head very quickly. Oh yeah, our drama, our thespian group is going to States later this week. I'm not in it, but good luck to them. And also... A debate team. The debate team at my school is going to nationals this year. That's that's pretty awesome. I haven't been able to because I've been <laughs> I haven't been very involved in speech this year because I'm the only person and I don't have a coach really. Well I do have a coach, but he's really focused on debate. He majors in debate. And I haven't had time to come up with a schedule and so hopefully I'll give that another shot next year. I'll just be like, speech team! And I'll be running through the halls and I'll try to find people. 
So that is what is going on this week. Wait, I'm going to start a countdown. So there are 88 days, 1 hour, 9 minutes, and 15 seconds until you come. Woo! Get excited. Glad we could start that. So now we're at 88 days. 88, 88, 88. Well, in case you haven't known, the issue that Japan is having right now is that one of its nuclear reactors is having a meltdown. Oh, I heard it. Because the oh, electricity... Yes, I am talking to Rachel. <laughs> he thought I was talking to him. What is on your back, Daniel? Oh, uh, Dad poured water on me. Okay. <laughs> well, um, what happened was the electricity that powered the cooler for the core of the nuclear reactor is broken because of it. So the nuclear reactor kept heating up and... As you saw in the 8th grade, that one video where it was talking about, like, the China circumstance where the reactor melts through the bottom and through the center of the earth, it comes up on the other side. They didn't want it to melt down, so they actually opened up vents to leak the nuclear waste into the water. And at this point, the water is everywhere. So nuclear waste is going to be everywhere where all these people are. So, like the day after a whole bunch of protests started in Europe and... Actually, just this morning, um, the vents failed and another explosion started at the power plant. And it was a huge mushroom cloud and they're not quite sure what to do now because now you have an overheated ball of nuclear waste. And thanks, Daniel. You have an over overheated ball of nuclear waste and now you can't even leak it into the water. And... It's just sort of sitting there. Wonder how that'll turn out. Once again, sorry this video is late, and I'll see you tomorrow, DFTBA.